Tonight, police are trying to figure out if a school bus driver ran a red light at one of the metro's busiest intersections. The school bus slammed into a car earlier today at 71 Highway and 59th Street. 22 kids were on the bus at the time, but none of them were hurt. Uh, the driver of the other car suffered minor injuries. That two-mile stretch of 71 Highway between 55th and Gregory was the site of nearly 200 crashes last year. Sayed Shabir is live there now with why those intersections are so dangerous. Say it. Well, Mark, 75,000 cars drive this stretch of 71 every single day. They're supposed to be going 45 miles per hour, but it's safe to say many go faster. It wouldn't be that big of a problem except for these red lights in the middle of US 71. It makes you wonder why make highway traffic come to a dead stop? We had to go back 30 years to find the answer. Heavy traffic and high speeds are expected on a major highway, but red lights? The three traffic lights on US 71 Highway drivers say are accidents waiting to happen. It's reckless. It's bumper to bumper. It creates chaos. I've seen some terrible accidents in that spot. Some try several. In fact, each intersection had more than 60 crashes last year, 50 of which had injuries. There's just a lot of people that just think of it as being a highway and they just fly up and down the road. The idea behind putting traffic lights on the highway goes back to 1985. It was part of a court order when we were doing the original design. Residents in the area filed a lawsuit to keep the traffic lights because they felt a full freeway would divide the community. It was also encouraged, trying to encourage the economic development of the region as well. But judging from the boarded up buildings and grass infested parking lots, it appears that plan backfired. But to help drivers get through safely, the speed limit was lowered, red light cameras were installed, and more signs were put up. But MoDOT officials say it's not enough. We're getting to the point where these intersections are at capacity, and at some point in time in the future, we will have to upgrade them. Now, the drivers I spoke to tonight say they would much rather have an overpass than having to suddenly stop at these intersections. And MoDOT says for that to happen, it's going to need to take a collaborative effort from both the residents and city officials to come up with a plan and the funding to get an overpass put in. Now, just south of here, 71 is actually going to become an interstate, and these three intersections will be the only stopping points between Joplin all the way up to Canada. We're live tonight along 71, Sayed Shabir, 41 Action News.